three events, E, F, and G, are mutually independent. Probability of E is 0.6, probability of F is 0.5, probability of G is 0.3. Fill in the three circle Venn diagram. Now, mutual independence. That means if I take any two of our events, say E and F, probability of E intersect F equals probability of E times the probability of F. If we push that one step further, we'll have probability of E intersect F intersect G equals the product of the probabilities. So probability of E times probability of F times the probability of G. Okay, we're gonna apply this to our triple Venn diagram. So the way we proceed, we start at the inside, in the middle, and then work our way out. So to start with intersection of three events, go to intersection of two events, go to our events, and then go to the outside. So intersection of three events, we just take the product of the probabilities we're given. So I have 0 0.6 times 0 0.5 times 0.3, I get a 0 0.09. So we fill in the middle. Then if I want, say, probability of E intersect F, we just multiply, we get 0 0.6 times 0 0.5 gives me 0 0.3. But what I want to fill in here is going to be what's outside the intersection of three events. So I want this piece here to add up to 0.3. So I'm just going to take 0.3, subtract off the 0.09, I get a 0.21, and then we fill that in in this piece. So that's E intersect F. Okay, same procedure gives us E intersect G and F intersect G. So once we do those, we'll have these four items here. Okay. Probability of E, we know is 0.6. So we just want to fill in what's outside of our intersections. So 0.6 has to add up to this circle here. We already know these three items. So if I add them up, I'm going to get a 0.39. If I subtract that off of 0.6, we get a 0.21. Same procedure is going to give us the parts that are not in the intersections for F and for G. So now we have everything that's inside of E, F, or G, so inside that union. So we just need the complement, or the outside. So we're gonna add up all of these pieces. That's gonna give me a 0.86. So one way to get that, note E is just gonna be 0.6, and then what's left over is 0 0.14, 0 0.06, 0 0.06. Add it up, you get 0.86. If I subtract that off of one, okay, that's the probability of the entire space we have a 0.14. So that's going to be the probability of not being in E, F, or G. So 0.14. The check on your work, just add up for each of the regions that we found. So E has to add up to 0.6, F has to add up to 0.5, G has to add up to 0.3, and then you can work out what all the intersections add up to also. The whole space has to add up to one. 